Hi everybody, welcome to my backyard garden tour. I'm gonna share with you what I am raising this year to have fresh produce for the summer months as well as what I will have for my future of canning and freezing as well. So behind me, I have my three rows of sweet corn, my bush type green beans, and my beets. This is a first year garden area for me as my husband's aquaponics over there was here previously. So three rows of sweet corn is not going to be enough for freezing. So we'll have to get some from some local farmers or the Hutterite colony that we have close by to be able to have some extra. And the bush beans, we don't really like them frozen. So I'd like to can some. Um, and beets. I like to make pickled beets and I hope to be doing succession planting with my green beans and my beets so I'll plant a later crop in late summer to be able to harvest more in the fall as well so hopefully then we'll have more abundance of that in the future too. On another note the area we have for our backyard is quite large however um, timing for tilling was a little later than I was hoping and I had a baby a couple weeks ago so I wanted to get as much garden in as I could with the area that the guy we hired to till could get done so yes we have a decent sized backyard but we I didn't want the whole backyard tilled up either and I knew I could only till and have enough area for what I could manage as I am the one who does most of the gardening. My husband will help when need be, but this is definitely something that I really enjoy doing myself and love to provide for my family. So I wanted to make sure I didn't overdo the amount of garden space um, and think too big and have <laughs> way more um, produce than I could manage on my own. Okay, so then back here, this is the second plot. This area, is the fourth year for this garden plot. I just have rearranged what produce I have here. This will be our vining plants, like our pumpkins, our butternut squash, acorn squash, zucchini plants, um, and then my cucumbers are on the teepees I built, and then I have some carrots back here as well. So we had trees, like I said, last year here which made this area super shaded so now with the trees gone the produce is doing superb because it is getting enough sunlight so now this plot is doing really well and things are growing better than they have in the past and we will be getting a hog panel actually put up soon we are borrowing that from a church friend who is a farmer and then um, the hay is actually from the farmer. So that will be helpful for keeping in moisture in the ground as well as keeping the weeds at bay. So a couple of the pumpkin types I have are like a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, a miniature decorative pumpkin, and the fancy white green ones that I will put the name in here for you to look at. All right, so my husband's aquaponics that he put together and built here is if you don't know what aquaponics is it's a mix of fish farming and hydroponics so the fishes pee and poo that they have in the system helps with nutrients and the grow beds here are with rocks and so there's the water and the rocks and there's a lot more detail than this um, i do have a different video really old video on this but the nutrients help feed the produce and so that's how it helps it grow we currently don't have fish yet um, a grow period here in zone five is a lot shorter because it doesn't stay very hot as long but um, up here i have tomatoes and all of my most of my plants that I have that you are seeing, I started from seed. So honestly, I am shocked with how well they turned out myself, but it has been so fun to see them produce so well. So I have tomatoes here. I have some um, little cherry tomatoes as well as like some big boy tomato brand is what they are. Um, some basil that is growing right here. Okay, and then in this grow bed, I have some sugar snap peas and some broccoli and cabbage that I just transplanted, so it'll take them a little while to perk back up, but they will. And then a couple pepper plants right here. 
Then in this grow bed, I have some more broccoli and some more peppers. And the thing that is really cool with aquaponics is that you can plant it so much closer together because the root system doesn't need as much space to grow in. And the cool thing too with like cabbage and broccoli, you don't get worms because there's no ground or dirt for them to come out of. So you don't have to pick through worms with all of this. Okay, so this is my third and final garden plot area. This is the third year for this garden area. Um, second year for it being twice the size that it was. So this is on the east side of our garage so it gets some good sunlight. And up top I have five rows of potatoes. I have some red potatoes and some russets last year i had just two small little rows and we were out of potatoes in no time so i want to be able to have enough to store down in our cool basement area um, right here i have four rows of onions two of red and two of white again last year they didn't grow well because they were in the back second garden which was shaded too much by the trees and then right here I have some broccoli and no they don't really need to be caged but I did have them caged initially when I planted them because um, they're from my seed starts and I let them get too big and they're falling over so it's just there to help support. Then I have a couple tomato, more tomato plants here in the ground and quite a bit of cabbage and I'm very excited with how well they have taken hold and are flourishing. Just we'll have to watch out to take care of the cabbage moths and um, right now I'm currently just using a cast aisle soap water solution to spray on those and see how that turns out. And then I do have some snap peas along that fence there and that fence was something that a friend and neighbor gave us to use as well. So a lot of the things to help with the gardening were given to us like the hay, the hog panel, and this other fence, which is so beneficial. If you can find people who can help you with those things that may, they may not need anymore, that really helps with um, getting your gardening going. And then I have a lot of sunflowers. I had two huge sunflower plants in this garden area last year and they self-seeded. I've dug a lot out because they are just taking over but sunflowers with potatoes is just a really pretty sight so those are my garden plot areas that I have and I'm going to show you just some random areas I have planted as well because like I said I wanted to use as much space as I could because I almost ran out of garden space anyway so I wanted to make sure I got in the produce that I wanted to get in the ground. Okay, and then right here in this galvanized bucket, I just have some lettuce. Um, I like having it in a container, which is really nice. And yes, this is a zinnia <laughs> right there. And then I ran out of garden space, like I said, so I had this extra pot and I just put three pepper plants in there and then I have some basil just sitting in the middle there too. So use the space that you have and this would be perfect for an apartment or if you have no backyard or anything, just to put some things in some pots. So that is our backyard gardens that I will be having for this summer. Um, I will be bringing you along and showing you the progress and hopefully then I can show you some canning videos, some freezing videos if you want to see those as well. Um, definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I hope it just inspires you to get out and garden if you are an avid gardener. If not, try your hand at it. It's just, to me, it's so enjoyable and something that I find so beneficial for our family. And um, the sun is starting to set here and I just hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And I'll be coming at you with another video in a few days. Bye.